The RQ-170 Sentinel is a high-altitude and long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, designed and manufactured by Skunk Works, a division of Lockheed Martin Corporation, for the United States Air Force, USAF. The UAV can capture real-time imagery of the battlefield and transfer the data to the Ground Control Station, GCS, through a line-of-sight, loss, communication data link. The vehicle was deployed to Afghanistan for the Operation Enduring Freedom. It is also known as the Beast of Kandahar. Flying at an altitude of 50,000 feet, the RQ-170 can offer its operators with real-time intelligence data by executing surveillance and reconnaissance operations over a large area. The RQ-170 was deployed in Pakistan during the Maraud on Osama bin Laden's compound in May 2011. Live coverage of the raid was broadcasted to the U.S. President by the vehicle. The Sentinel is being operated by 432nd Wing of Air Combat Command ACC, at Creech Air Force Base, Nevada, and 30th Reconnaissance Squadron at Tanapa Test Range, Nevada. In 2016, Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, announced the development of a new unmanned aerial combat vehicle, UAV, called Seekit Thunderbolt, based on a captured American RQ-170 Sentinel stealth drone. Seekit drones were produced with technologies obtained from reverse engineering of the RQ-170 Sentinel, according to Iranian military commanders. Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Dekan stated when announcing the country's plans to equip its drones with the Nasser cruise missile. Using the air-based Nasser missile by the Army, the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps and the Air Force will remarkably increase their operational and tactical power. These missiles can strike and destroy enemy targets with a high precision capability and provide for a wide range of the armed forces needs to missiles with different ranges. As the Nasser missile is equipped with a high precision radar allowing it to trace and intercept targets, it doesn't need any backup, and the fighter jet can leave the danger zone immediately. The defense minister noted that the military could likely deploy the missiles from its combat drones, which could potentially better allow for the launching of swarm attacks to overwhelm the defenses of hostile surface warships from standoff ranges. While it is unclear whether Iranian stealth drones will carry the Nasser, considering their effectiveness in combat and their high survivability in high contested combat scenarios, such as a potential conflict with the US Navy, this remains a significant possibility. Despite embarking on a number of highly ambitious projects to build destroyer warships and frigates indigenously, the capabilities of the Iranian surface navy remain somewhat negligible relative to those of its potential adversaries, namely the United States Navy and those of a number of European powers. As a result, the Iranian armed forces have invested in a number of asymmetric anti-ship technologies, which include several hundred missile armed speedboats reportedly unmanned, near-silent Russian and North Korean designed diesel attack submarines, and air-launched anti-ship cruise missiles. While Iran lacks advanced cruise missile platforms such as the Russian Indian Brahmos, the CX-1 deployed by Algeria or the Russian P-800, all of which are capable of impacting their targets at near three times the speed of sound, it has obtained some older subsonic anti-ship missile technologies from the Chinese People's Liberation Army and produces a several of Chinese missile designs under license.
Iran's Agab and Nazi cruise missiles are heavily based on Chinese technologies, while its most prolific anti-ship platform the Nasser is a direct derivative appearing nearly identical to the Chinese C-704. With a range of 35 kilometers and the ability to approach enemy warships at extremely low altitudes, the Nasr is widely deployed by Iranian F-4D Phantom twin-engine heavy fighters, platforms with a considerable range and payload, and a speed of well over Mach 2. With each Phantom able to deploy multiple missiles, the country's F-4 fleet equipped for a maritime strike role can pose a significant with limited Phantom fleet, the Iranian military has reportedly sought out new launch platforms for the anti-ship missile. While Iran's Sika light fighter and upcoming indigenous Kar-313 stealth fighter are possible candidates, a report from the Iranian Defense Ministry has indicated that the country is instead seeking to equip its indigenous combat drones with the Nasser missile. Iran's drone technologies have surprised defense analysts the world over, and the country has reportedly received Chinese assistance in reverse engineering the US RQ-170 stealth drone and manufacturing it in both combat and reconnaissance variants, the latter which was deployed on a mission into Israeli airspace in 2018.